taking a bunch of tests today, so I'm just going to spit out my review of Ready Player One very quickly and just tell you what I think about it. When I first heard about this book and its premise of a kid saving the world through video games and fighting the corporate corporations, I was like, oh, this is going to be so bad and so dumb, and it's going to be so nerdy and cringy. Oh, I really don't want to read this. It's going to be so lame. And then I picked it up and I started reading it. And it was exactly the cringy, awkward nerdiness that I thought it was going to be. In the best way possible. This book is actually phenomenal. And I am so amazed at how much I like it. It follows this kid who, through video games, is fighting these corporate evil bad people. And the characterizations are just these nerdy, awkward kids, but they're done so well. And every character in the book is fleshed out and given the appropriate amount of detail and love. And the author clearly knows what they're doing. This book was released in 2011 by Ernest Klein. You need to include that information. I just, I, the, on the cover, it says it was Willy Wonka meets The Matrix. I disagree. It's The Matrix meets Codename Kids Next Door meets Mad Max. That's what I would say. It's just beyond strange. And it is every bit as nerdy and cringy and weird as you think it's going to be. But it does it incredibly, incredibly well. Um, for world building, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give the world building a 10 out of 10 for both the virtual and the real world. For the characterization, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Every character was given the amount of love and respect they needed. There was no anything really new or crazy, but they were just great at what they were. This book captured teenage bleh really well. Um, and for overall plot, uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. So that averages out to this book being a 9 out of 10. I'll give it a badass seal of approval for me. Taking a note from Angry Joe, I honestly can say I was experiencing like maybe a 5 out of 10, and I'm giving it a solid 9 out of 10. I would recommend this book to literally anybody, even if you don't like sci-fi, and you don't get any of the references made in this book, because it is heavily laden with sci-fi references. You'll love this book, just because the characters are so lovable, the world is so neat, and both worlds are so neat and different. Just the plot itself is simple, but incredibly engaging. So if you have not already picked up Ready Player One, please do, and let me know what you think of it. I'm probably going to do a actual spoiler-filled entire review and go through why I love certain things, because this book follows so many things I really like. It is exposition heavy at times, but it really needs it with what's going on. That's pretty much it. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video or my face. As always, have a great day. Peace.